Hello YouTube. We're making Momo's sweet pickles. I've been making these sweet pickles for over 35 years. I made these the first time with my grandmother when I was around 9 to 11 years old. We love these sweet pickles. We actually ran out a couple of months ago and we've been trying to get by with sweet relish but we just couldn't do it any longer and the grocery store had cucumbers on sale so we decided we would buy some up and make us up some sweet pickles at least enough to do us till we can grow our own cucumbers in the summer hope you enjoyed this recipe we're going to explain how we do this process it does take around a day and a half to process these because they do need to soak in a lime water solution for a little over 12 hours. You'll start out by cleaning your cucumbers up and you're going to trim each end off of the cucumber. Then you're going to slice them in quarter inch round slices. I used a mandolin to slice these guys up and it really went fast. Do be careful if you're using a mandolin because you can cut yourself. I actually cut two of my fingers by just trying to go too fast and get finished with cutting these pickles up. As you can see it really works fast if you do a lot of slicing of vegetables from the garden it really does pay to to own a mandolin just for cucumbers is enough for me. I slice 30 pounds of cucumbers in less than 30 minutes. After you've got your cucumbers all sliced up we're going to get a solution mixed up of lime and water that we'll pour over to the cucumbers that they'll soak in for at least 12 hours. To soak these cucumbers you'll need either a stainless pot or pan. Cannot use aluminum or any other kind of metallic copper or anything like that. It has to be stainless food grade plastic it can be an enamel as long as there's no cracks in the enamel and it also can be like a stone crock. You'll need a gallon of water to a half a cup of lime. This lime powder, Ball used to make it but they stopped or I wasn't able to find it. Only thing I could find is what they call pickle crisp and it just we've tried that before and it just doesn't work out so we went back to the lime powder and I was able to find it on Amazon and we're using a brand called Mrs. Wages the Mrs. Wages lime also has a recipe on the back of the bag for sweet pickles and it's really close to our same recipe there's just a little variation and I will show you a picture of the Mrs. Wages bag and also a video of the recipe on the back so you can look at that also. You'll take a gallon water and you'll take a half a cup of the lime, mix that well, and once you have your cucumbers in your container that you're going to soak them in, you will cover these cucumbers in the lime water solution. After you've got your cucumbers covered, you're going to add a plate and maybe a weight like a quart jar full of water on top to weight the cucumbers down in the water. They will float up so you may have to even add two quarts on top to keep them totally submerged down in the water. I actually had 30 pounds of cucumbers so it took my five gallon pot and a three gallon pot to soak these guys in the lime water solution. Both of those pots were stainless that I used. Once you've got your pickles in the lime water solution, they're going to stay here for a minimum of 12 hours. I cut these guys up around 12 on one day and the next morning is when I actually rinsed all the lime off and started the next process. So if it's a little longer, it doesn't matter. They're just going to be more crisp. After they've soaked, you're going to want to pour all the lime water off the pickles 
and you're going to go through a rinsing process. You're going to want to make sure that you get all of the lime that you can off of these pickles. And the easiest way I found to do that is to, after you drain the lime water off, take the cucumbers out in like one to two pound batches, put them in the colander and rinse them, and then submerge them over into a dish pan or your sink with water in it and be able to rinse them around in there. Then you're going to drain that water off again and you're going to repeat this process twice until you have these cucumbers all cleaned and the lime off of them. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to soak our cucumbers in an ice water bath. The ice water bath is going to add to the crispiness of your cucumbers also. They'll need to soak in the ice water bath for a minimum of three hours. The way that I did it was I used dish pans since they're wider and more spread out and I put half of my pickles in the dish, cucumbers in the dish pan, added a layer of ice about an inch, added the rest of my cucumbers, then topped them with ice on top and made sure they were submerged in water also. If your ice melts before the three hour time period, just add more ice. They need to stay ice cold for the total solid three hours. Once you've soaked them for three hours in the ice bath, if it's a little longer, it doesn't matter, that's fine. You're going to want to get all the ice out of them and pour all the water off. Once you've gotten all the water drained off of them, we're going to start the next process, which is making up our sugar vinegar salt solution that's going to be used to cook our pickles in. That's what they'll actually be canned in. This is the pickling solution. For that recipe, we're going to need nine cups of sugar, eight cups of vinegar, one teaspoon of salt. You're going to place this into a four to five quart boiler and heat this on the stove. You'll want to put your pickles in the pot that you're going to cook them in. I used a five quart pot and a three quart pot to cook mine in. As you get this vinegar sugar solution melted over the heat on the stove, you can then pour that over your pickles and you'll keep repeating this process one batch at a time until you get your pickles all covered. If you get down to the last and it looks like you only need half a batch, we'll only mix up half a batch. Do four and a half cups of sugar, four cups of vinegar, half a tablespoon of salt. We also add, this is different from the Mrs. Wages, we add for each batch we add a, tape, a teaspoon of red hot pepper flakes to our vinegar sugar solution. When you do this it just adds a little more flavor to it and for every batch of sugar vinegar solution that you mix up in a piece of cheesecloth or muslin you're going to add one tablespoon of pickling spice and you can add a little more if you want for if you use two and a half batches let's say in the five gallon pot you're going to put two and a half tablespoons of pickling spice in the muslin or the cheesecloth bag once you get it in that cheesecloth bag you'll want to tie it up loosely because those seeds will swell as they cook with like a piece of cotton string real tight because you don't want that to bust and come out in your pot I save my old t-shirts and cut those into squares and use those for spice bags. They work real well. They're sturdy. I've had problems with cheesecloth with the seeds coming out of there because some of the mustard seeds are really small. And if it gets a little bit touched wrong with the spoon, it can bust open. So, like I said, you can use you know, a piece of cotton material like a, an old t-shirt or something like that. works great. When you get your pickles all covered in the solution, you get your spice bag in and you get your red pepper flakes in there, you're going to start cooking them. You're going to bring them up to around medium, about a medium boil. And you don't want to leave the lids tight on the top of the pots. You're going to crack them. 
that way the steam can vent out of the pot. I have noticed also that they will cook a little faster if your lid is half on instead of the lid off of the pickles. You're going to cook these pickles. It's going to take probably 45 minutes to an hour depending on how fast you cook them until they begin to look translucent or clear. They won't be white in the center any longer. I showed you on the video, there is a video of the spot. You can see the spice bag on top and the pickles boiling. This was right before we jarred them up. You'll want to, when you're jarring them up, to can them up, you're going to leave your heat on <clears throat> and your pickles and your solution boiling as you're jarring them up. You want to make sure they go hot into that jar and you're going to place your hot lids on there also. You'll heat your lids on the stove. You don't bring them to a bowl. Just heat them right before they come to a bowl. And then use your little pair of tongs or a magnet to take them out of the hot water. Place them on top of the jar and put it down tight. But once your pickles get done, you'll put your funnel on, your wide mouth funnel, and start carefully putting your pickles in the jar. Try not to crack them into a million pieces. And you also want to take <clears throat> your air bubble wand and kind of move your pickles around in the jar to get them evenly distributed in the jar. That way you've got a good amount of pickles, as many as you can get in the jar. Out of this 5 gallon pot and this 3 gallon pot, we had 25 quart jars. I only had an extra quart of juice left over. But you do want to put enough juice in the pot that it covers the pickles. <clears throat> you don't want to get to the end and run out of juice. Excuse me just a minute. You'll ladle your all of your pickles into each jar. You're going to fill it up to a half inch head space and then you'll place your hot lid and your ring tightly on the jar. This is not finger tight, this is tightly on the jar. You will then place your jars onto a towel on your counter that's been doubled. And then you're going to place another towel doubled on top of them. This just keeps them hotter for a little bit longer period of time. Also it keeps from them being so hot, coming out of boiling liquid, this keeps them from getting kind of cool draft and causing any problems. After you've cooled, gotten your pickles all jarred up and you've let them cool for six to eight hours, place you a jar into the refrigerator to cool down. We eat our pickles ice cold out of the refrigerator. I eat them plain, over peas. I eat them over hash today. They're great in potato salad, chicken or tuna salad. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. This has been a family favorite of ours for many generations. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. The recipe can also be found at the link below on our blog. If you have any questions or comments, either leave them in the comments below or send me a personal message. This is The Pressured Prepper, and I'm out.